Alright, so we've got the Otanis mounted up here, aired up to 5 PSI. Of course, a night and day difference. I mean, it makes the buggy look amazing as far as looks go. 16 by 7 wheel really fits this Pioneer 500. Went ahead and got the blue lock ring insert. Um, you, they sell a variety of colors, machined, red, blue, white. So, you know, if you really want to customize and match the color of your machine, it's a great option. Put on here, done some measurements. We have about, and now keep in mind, I do have this one inch eBay spacer lift. In reality, it's only giving me about half an inch, but we're going to keep that in mind. Front and rear, I have right at 13 inches. That's coming from the floor to the bottom of the frame right here. So, 13 inches versus 9 to 9.5 nine when we had our stock 24 inch tires. Using the old tape measure trick, measuring 5 psi, full weight of the machine. Also, I've driven around a little bit so the springs have settled. You can see here it's realistically maybe a 20. 8 inch tire, um, that might even be pushing it a little bit, bear with me. So maybe trying to get as straight as we can, looks like about a 27 and a half, um, 27 and a half to 28 just pending how I put the bend on the state measure at 5 PSI. So they're not a true 30 inch tire, advertised as a 30 inch, but they are not. But you know, keep in mind, tire is only about 25 pounds, which is pretty light for a 28 inch tire. Um, you know, on our lugs, we're getting realistically about maybe a half an inch to three quarters. Um, these are pretty new tires. If this will zoom in, bear with me. Camera's getting some adjustments here. So, you know, half inch on the lugs. And these are not worn down, have not been ridden on the street at all. These have been all in the dirt. A little bit of lime rock roads, but nothing much. And bear with the rim being dirty again. These have been on here a while. Was doing some maintenance, figured I'd make a video. When I was looking up these Otanis, there was not a lot of info about them at all. You know, I mean, you can read online, but nobody's really done some reviews on them to show what they're like. You know, how they look mounted, some real life weights, um, not too much at all. Now, one thing to note on the Pioneers, again, is, you know, most people have a problem hitting the frame. So we're going to zoom in here, take a look at that. It does look like this is going to require a little bit of a frame mod. Now if I would have went with a different offset of wheels, we may have not needed to do that. It scrubs, this is full lock. You can see it's been scrubbing just a hair on there. You can see shininess on the frame. Um, there's some controversy. Some people say the frame mod doesn't hurt anything. Others are hesitant to do it. Luckily it looks like we're just going to have to shave down here a little bit, maybe it will say a quarter to half an inch. It is not going to be a giant notch like some people do to run the wides or the 30s. Um, one other thing I will note is that even with the spacer, we're going ahead and we're having the notch. I don't think that spacer is going to help you or do anything. I'm going to probably be replacing these shocks. This is a 15 model, so I'm going to go ahead and replace them with the 17 to 18s. They're adjustable, they have a dual spring rate, and actually provide a little better ride. Probably go ahead and do a video of that when I upgrade them, and then, you know, probably notch the frame after that. So if it needs to be notched more, we'll do it. Um, I highly doubt it will. Again, that spacer's not giving much. We'll probably also do a video of, you know, notching the frame. I have seen some basic videos, but I have not seen one yet that goes into true depth. Now, like I said, there you can see it's clearing, but if I were to sit in the driver's seat, put it in a little bit of a bind, it's going to hit. I don't mind, you know, just shaving a quarter inch there versus losing a, a tire or cutting a tire down the trail. Um, overall, these Otanis are, like I said, pretty tough. They're a four-ply tire, actual weight about 25 pounds, and they'll get you through some stuff, you know. Decent mud, um, you know, Pioneer's got that open differential, can't blame the tire for anything there. They clean themselves pretty well, and then, again, stock tires were 28 pounds a piece for the front, rears were 30. These are going to be 42 pounds a piece, tire and rim, even considering the little hubcap included all the weight there. Still can take off in second gear, no problems. Still can go through pretty decent mud in second gear and keep them clean. If I'm in some really, really thick stuff, I'm going to use low and four-wheel drive, obviously. These tires clean out pretty well for what they are. I mean, if you're in clay, I'm not sure what tires can clean up better, but these do pack pretty quick in clay. 
but typical mud trail riding again they do fine and like I said they really bring the look out on the bike you know you can pick your own rim this just happened to be the rim I chose to go with and then ground clearance is you know absolute different I mean you're gaining four inches on the tire as far as ride can't really comment on that because I've had these spacers since day one and this Pioneer has had a rough ride um, when I pull these spacers off I could probably tell you a little bit of a difference but even with stock tires I have had a rough ride with this Pioneer and again that's on me adding the spacers to it I mean spacers were on within a week of owning it so I can't tell you too much about you know is the ride of the tire horrible I've taken it down the street as I live in the neighborhood just going back and forth these have awesome road manners I mean I've been 30 35 miles an hour the steering wheel doesn't skip jump or miss a beat so they actually handle pretty good on the road any questions feel free to comment another thing is you can easily see those inch and a half wheel spacers now highly recommend them especially if you're going to run some of these skinnies all the way around it'll give you some more stability it'll actually bring the tire pretty flush with the bike um, if we return the front tire it all sits pretty flush and actually brings out a really nice look on the bike.